Hello, my name is Chris Bovee and I'm with Celux Incorporated and uh, we're up here on our metal roof today to show you guys how to install our Immerseal HD material around a roof curb. Uh, there's a lot of different curbs on metal roofs. Uh, this is one application in particular as to and how we would handle this application. Um, the very first thing you need to do is uh, make sure that your surface is clean, dry, and frost free. Uh, we went ahead and cleaned this ahead of time, so we're not going to bore you with that step. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can clean it, but uh, you need to contact your specific roof manufacturer and make sure whatever method you use is appropriate. Uh, we finish it off usually with an alcohol wipe just to make sure that it is dry and free of any contaminations or debris. And uh, you should be good from there. Uh, the second step is to uh, get your adhesive ready. Uh, our adhesive is, is Immerbond. It's a product which we manufacture in-house. It is a silicone adhesive sealant. Uh, this product tends to be very viscous, very thick. So if you have issues getting it out of the tube, uh, you can, first thing to do is make sure that your foil seal is penetrated, which is inside the end of the tube here. The second thing you can do is make your nozzle larger in diameter. That should make it a little bit easier to get it out of the tube. Um, I went ahead and marked the location of the outside of where I plan on putting my, my Emmer seal so I know exactly where I need to put the adhesive. Uh, you need to put a continuous bead around the perimeter of where your Emmer seal is going to be. The other thing to do on metal applications where you have screw heads is to put a little dab of adhesive on top of the screw head. What that is going to do is actually adhere the Immer seal to the screw head and when the roof is moving, expanding and contracting over top of these screw heads, it doesn't allow the screw to cut through the material. So just put a liberal dab on top of each screw head. You should be safe. Now that I have a good perimeter, a continuous bead around the outside edge of where my extrusion is going to go, I can go ahead and place my extrusion on there. This is a piece which I pre-cut ahead of time that should fit right in here. Now that I have my extrusion in place, I simply press it into place. You can use a block of wood if you'd like, or you can just use your finger until the extrude until the adhesive just squeezes out of the edge of the extrusion just a little. What this does is ensure that the Emmer seal extrusion is bonded to both the substrate and to the extrusion using the adhesive which we put down. If you notice, I didn't do anything with the ridge cap. It's here. Uh, in order to make sure that this seals up, I'm just going to put a bead of our adhesive right behind this, over top of the butyl or whatever other sealant that was used, as well as a bead around any bolts that are here. To ensure that I have a nice leak free. All right, we're going to continue on on the upper side of the roof. Uh, as you can notice before we started on the bottom side, this is a lot of the water to run down the roof just like you would uh, if you were to shingle a roof in that kind of fashion. Uh, we're going to continue on this side just like we did on the bottom side. 
with a continuous bead all the way around the perimeter of the emmer seal. That's all I really need to do in order to install this. I have one piece left to install on the upper side. As you notice, this st standing seam ridge cap has been sealed before in the past. I know this wasn't leaking, this was sealed at one point in time with our Emberbond product. There are a lot of different ways to handle that, but that's really outside the scope of this demonstration. I can continue on and put a bead all the way around this perimeter, just like I did in the other videos. If you have any questions about anything that you see here today, you can call us at 231-348-5020 or you can look us up in, on the web at www.celexinc.com. We'd be happy to answer any questions that you have or to give you literature on any of the products or a more thorough guide to your specific application.